Okay. Good morning and welcome to today's hearing. My name is uh, Andrew Cohen and I am the chair of the Committee on State and Federal Legislation. On today's agenda, we will be considering 11 uh, state legislative resolutions. Uh, first, I'd like to introduce the members of the committee, uh, Karen Koslowitz and Robert Cornegie, page two. <laughs> Uh, the first state legislative resolution this committee will be considering and voting on today is Senate Bill uh, 610A, uh, 6010A, and Assembly Bill 8191. Uh, this bill is an act relating to granting retroactive eligibility to apply for enhanced Tier 3 status to the family of former New York City Police Officer Mark Rivera, who died of a heart attack on March 21st, 2015, at the age of 37. The second legislative resolution is Senate Bill 6324 and Assembly Bill 8138. Uh, this bill is an act to amend the real property tax law in relation to the determination of adjusted base proportions in special assessing units, which are cities, which are cities, uh, for fiscal year 2020, and the maximum class growth rate will be 0.0%. The third state legislative resolution in this is Senate Bill 6178, and Assembly Bill 7776, an act to amend the domestic relations law in relation to designation of persons who may perform marriage ceremonies in the city of New York. The fourth state legislative resolution is Senate Bill 1925B and Assembly Bill 6777B, which is an act to amend the VTL in relation to removing the cap on automated enforcement cameras for bus lanes in New York City and create a graduated schedule for fines for repeat offenders. Uh, the fifth state legislative resolution is Senate Bill 3215A and Assembly Bill 1658A, an act to amend the administrative code and the VTL in relation to increasing the fine for tractor trailer combinations that park on residential streets overnight. The sixth state legislative resolution is Senate Bill 2761 and Assembly Bill uh, 1557, which is an act to amend the VTL in relation to a fine for parked or unattended semi-trailers on streets of a city with a population of one million or more. The seventh state res legislative resolution is Senate Bill 6442 and Assembly Bill uh, 8238, which is an act relating to authorizing the city of New York to sell waterfront property, including the land under water, opportunity there too, owned by or which may be acquired in the future in Broad Channel, Queens. This is part of the continuing effort to revitalize communities within Southern Queens impacted by Superstorm Sandy in 2020. The eighth state legislative resolution is Senate Bill 6250A and Assembly Bill 4366A, which is an act uh, relating to authorizing the City of New York to discontinue certain parkland in Flushing Meadow Park to permit the construction of a new pre-kindergarten facility in the proximity of the Hall of Science, which would provide opportunities for children to attend pre-K programs that focus on science, technology, and math. The ninth state legislative resolution is Senate Bill 6312A and Assembly Bill 7772A, an act to authorize the City of New York to discontinue the use of parkland a portion of real property in the County of New York and to grant easements. This alienation will be used to construct an electrical power substation necessary to permit greater train efficiency. Uh, the, the next state legislative resolution is Senate Bill 6474 Assembly, and Assembly Bill 8282, an act to amend the military law in relation to age requirements applicable to appointments or promotions of public employees in cities with a population of one million or more who have been absent on military duty. Uh, the enactment of this bill increases from six to seven years the number of years of military service that can be deducted from an, the age of an applicant for appointment or promotion to city service uh, where there is a maximum age requirement established by law. This bill will expand the pool of highly prepared individuals that can apply for appointments to the FDNY and the NYPD and other city agencies. Uh, lastly, the last state legislative resolution is Senate Bill uh, 1966A and Assembly Bill 3593A, which would increase the number of physicians on the medical board of the New York City Employment uh, re Retirees Board, Compensation Board. Uh, at this moment, I would like to ask uh, if any members would like to make any statement. 
Uh, I do just want to say that uh, it is uh, very hard to get the agenda uh, for this committee together. Uh, it is a uh, multi-dimensional chess trying to get you know, all the houses of the state legislature, uh, the city council, the mayor, and the governor all on the same page. So I really want to commend the staff for all their hard work, uh, particularly uh, Council Carlos. Uh, it, is, um, it is incredibly complicated, difficult work. So uh, with that, I'm going to ask uh, Billy Martin to call the roll. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on state and federal legislation. All items are coupled. Chair Cohen. I vote aye. Cornegie. I vote aye. Kozlowitz. I vote aye. By a vote of three in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. All items have been adopted by the committee. Uh, this concludes uh, our hearing. Thank you very much. Good job. Thank you.